Hello everyone, I'm back with another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we have the Sand Speeder, set number 75204. Retails for $30 in the US and I think is a really good set. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first off for the minifigures, we have the Sand Speeder Pilot, which has one of my favorite helmets LEGO has made ever. I mean, look at this thing. It is a nice dark red color. It's real good. They changed up the face printing for a female pilot, so that's good to get. And a nice new gray uh, pilot suit, <laughs> flight suit. Um, comes with a regular standard pistol, so nice to be getting that. We got some printing on the sides right there that looks real nice. And she has an alternate face as well. Looking more angry, more ready for battle. So this is my favorite figure from this set by far. Probably my honestly favorite pilot. I really like this helmet she's got right there. Pretty cool. And next up from the set, we have the Sand Speeder Gunner. So it uses the same body, even though it's a male pilot, which I think is fine. I don't think it takes away from anything. So same body as the other pilot, same leg prints. Different face though. It's the same pilot face we've been getting for a while now But he's got a new helmet and fun fact about this helmet. It's the helmet that Ray picks up in the uh, Force Awakens. It's the one that she has on her at, -AT on Jakku So that's a fun little thing to get Printing on the back which is the same and he also has an alternate face and He looks terrified like he's about to be blown out of the sky so that's maybe how Ray has his helmet on Jakku, maybe, yeah? And next up we have the actual sand speeder itself. So this thing is quite nice. It's got a tan base color with dark tan um, highlights around it. So it's basically just a regular snow speeder with the obvious color change. However, the biggest change, I think, are these fins, which do get a sticker, so that's pretty nice. So on the back, also another big change from the snow speeder, it's a gunner seat. So that pilot with the Ray's helmet before, he's the gunner, so they don't have harpoon cables. So it's kind of like the ARC-170 kind of, yeah. So this one looks quite nice. On the inside, you have a console pieces right there and on the back right there. And it also has a compartment to store the blasters close that up. It's not a hinged one, just we got the nice easy ones instead of these clipped ones right there that we usually get. On the underside we get some of those newer missiles which are kind of easy to just accidentally throw off. So a little unfortunate there but it works quite nice anyways. So all in all I think this is a pretty solid build. And then the last addition to the set is this nice little moisture farm evaporator. So it's kind of like what Luke has on Tatooine. And then the main thing about this is that it flips over like that, exposing a gray snake. We don't get these molded in this color very often. That'll focus a little bit better. There we go. I'm not sure if we've ever gotten these molded in this color or not, but it's pretty cool. Back to the moisture evaporator. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use the Flick fire missiles right under here, and it's supposed to knock this thing over. It's a pretty fun play build. Then it's not attached by anything either, it just flips up and down. So pretty easy to hit. And then the evaporator itself also looks pretty nice, kind of how it looks in the movie. So, all in all, I think this is a good set.